All right, we're really happy that uh, we are joined right now by one of the newest Jets and certainly one of the most important Jets, and that's Le'Veon Bell. He joins us now on the show. Lev, it's Michael and Don. How you doing? I'm doing good. How y'all doing? Good. Uh, we talked to you a couple of years ago yeah. uh, at the at the. Uh, the, the Super Bowl, and you joked about how when you know one day you play for the Jets, and you said something like a hundred million dollars. Well, you're here, not a hundred million dollars. <laughs> so, is is it everything you expected so far? Yeah, so far, you know, I mean, I, I definitely can't complain. You know, I'm I'm happy where I am. Um, you know, just to be back in the you know in the groove, of getting back in the football, you know, it means you know a lot to me. And um, you know, I'm thankful to be here. And today felt great. What do you think of Sam? Man, Sam's a special player, man. He uh. He's so he's so athletic. I didn't realize how athletic he was until I really got to see him in person today. You know, obviously, um, you see him on TV and you see him running around and making throws on the run and getting out of the pocket. But to see it in practice today was really, really crazy to me because, um, you know, it looks so much faster in person. But yeah, he's a, a special player. I, I just look how he, um, you know, taking demand of the huddle and he's in there getting guys in a in a places for for such a young guy. Um, he has great leadership qualities and that's what you want in your quarterback. Now. Obviously, when you look at a guy like Gase, he, he's got an imaginative offensive mind. And people are saying he's really going to be able to use Le'Veon well. But, I mean, you got so many touches with the Steelers. I mean, how much better can you be used than you are with the Steelers? And if you're used the same way you were in Pittsburgh, would that be cool with you? Um, you know, I think I'm going to be used differently here. You know, um... How so? Just, just, I can just tell by the way the offense is. You know, the offense is different. You know, it's not... Um, how it was in Pittsburgh. You know, I think in Pittsburgh, I was more, you know, they kind of depended more power, on power. you know, I was more of a power type runner. So they had me inside a lot. You know, every round that we run our outside runs and we would run our counters and Georgias and things like that. But, you know, here, um, I think it's going to be more me in space, you know, and I think that's where I really excel at uh, when I get the ball and more opportunities um, in open field to make guys miss, uh, to maybe even lower my head, make keeping guys off balance more more so, you know, I'm not saying it didn't happen in Pittsburgh, but I'm just saying I think it will be more opportunities here just because the type of players that are around me, um, the type of quarterback that we have, um, and the offensive minded coach that we have. So um, I think um, it's going to be a little different, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. What are some of the challenges of getting ready this season after missing an entire year? I'm um, just really getting back in the groove. You know, today has really like my been my first day, really a like full a full day, and it felt like a very long day. But it's such a day um, where I enjoyed it. You know, I've been like you said, I've been out of football for a year, and it's like I really missed this whole process. You know, getting up at 6:15 in the morning to get over here and work on my body, get ready for practice. Um, you know, having meetings all day, then walkthroughs all day, then after the meeting, walk through, get my body ready for tomorrow, you know, so I got to stretch and do hot tubs and cold tubs and um, make sure I'm ready for tomorrow to go. So um, I just missed this whole process. And I'm, Wait, I'm you just, missed waking up at 6.15 in the morning? <laughs> ain't that crazy? Having yeah. Having somewhere to go? Ain't that <laughs> unbelievable? Because, you know, for just about a year, I wake up when I want, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, the fact that I'm, like, actually on schedule is, like, um, that I have something to do. Like when I get up at 6.15 or if I get up at 6.30, all I know what I'm about to do, go do. I got something to do, you know, and I miss that, you know what I mean? Uh, like it, it really goes over a lot of people's heads a lot of times because you don't really necessarily appreciate it when you're going through it. You know, it's like, oh, it's a lot of hard work and things like that. You know, I was there too, but um, I'll probably be there eventually again. But it's like the fact right now, the way I feel, it's like I'm glad that I, you know, took my year off. My body feels great. Um, and I'm just eager to just get back into to the groove of things. And that's what I'm doing now. Tom with Levy on Bell Jets running back here on the Michael K Show. So, so Lev, I got to ask you this. There's two schools of thought. His body is well-rested. He didn't play for an entire year. That's one school. The other school is he didn't play for an entire year. He, he's going to be rusty. Uh, he's not going to have the same moves. He's not going to have the same fluidity. What do you say to the people on each side of that? Um, obviously, it would be a little rust. Um, that's understandably because um, you, you know, I haven't caught a ball, you know, from, uh, I guess, an NFL quarterback in, you know, kind of games, not game speed, but practice speed in over a year, you know. So, like, rust like that, you know, is, is, is you know, I think 
okay. You know, I'll, I'll get that out of the way. You know, me just playing football is going to come back. But rust as in my body and my cuts and my speed and things like that, I've been training, you know, for years. It's not like I lost that. You know, it's something I've been doing. Um, even though I haven't been running behind people or I haven't been juking defenders, but I've still been doing my normal drills that I would have been doing in practice if I was playing, you know. So my rust in that sense um, hasn't, you know, is, is not too off. But I think catching the ball, like with defenders around me and things like that, yeah, of course, it's going to take me playing football and getting back to that groove. But, um, you know, me reading holes and things like that, mm -hmm. that's just all mental. I mean, I, I think my first day, that it, that everything felt slow. You know, I mean, I, I've still, I still got the ball, um, able to make all my reads comfortably, and um, I feel good. All right, you didn't go to the voluntary workouts, which is fine because they're voluntary. That's what they mean. But were you tempted at all to go just be to get a few extra reps before minicamp? I mean, it's crazy how everybody say I didn't go to voluntary workouts. The whole first week, I went to the voluntary workouts. I didn't go to OTAs. Right. But, yeah, the voluntary workouts, I, I, I came the whole week um, talking to everybody, um, getting around, letting everybody see my face, meeting everybody in the building. I talked to Coach Gates. Me and him had that whole conversation, and he knew I wasn't coming to OTAs, and, and he understood why. I explained to him why, because of the fact that I want to make sure my body is straight. I'm, I want to make sure I'm getting back right. I want to give the Jets the best me. Um, the same way I've been given, uh, I've given the whole league the best me um, since I've been playing in this league. So I don't want to change the formula uh, from what I've been doing my whole career. Um, I understand I'm in a new situation, new environment, new players around me, new coach, a new system. But at the same time, you know, if I want to be my best me, I got to do what I know I got to do uh, to make my body, make sure my body's straight. So when when the season comes, you know, if they if they need me to have 38 touches, I'll be ready. You know, um, a lot of people won't worry about the OTAs when, you know, um, the end of December come around, we fight for a playoff spot or if we secure the playoff spot already. Nobody's going to be worried about OTAs that I wasn't at OTAs. All right, Lev, let me ask you the question that everybody wants to know. So, obviously, the guy who signed you, the GM, gets fired. Uh, then there's stuff that leaks out that the coach likes you as a player but didn't think that they should give you as much money as they did. Uh, do, have you spoken with Coach Gase about this? Is there an issue between the two of you? There's absolutely no issue between me and Coach Gase. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, even if those reports were true, uh -huh. you know, let's just say for the sake of argument, if he did feel that way, what human doesn't? You know, it's like you always want more for for your buck. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want more for less, of course. You know, so, um, you know, he might, I mean, even if he did feel a certain way, it's okay because at the end of the day, he's going to utilize me. Right. Um, you know, in a, in a way that he wants me to be successful because at the end of the day, I know he wants to be successful. We both have jobs we got to do. Um, and he wants to do his job. He, he You know, he, he's new. Um, I'm new. Um, so we both want to win. So at the end of the day, um, our relationship is great. I, the whole offseason, I've been talking to him just about every day. Um, me and him on the phone, texting. I'm sending him my workouts. He's sending me, you know, new plays and uh, ideas about, you know, things I like or I may not like. You know, me and him being in full communication, and that's the biggest thing for me. So long as me and him have that relationship like that, um, I don't really care what right. the story say outside of that, you know? Well, listen, he, he wants you here. He just didn't want to pay you. Nobody wants to pay running backs for some reason, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, they feel like, you know, running backs is a dime a dozen. Um, you know, anybody can do it. But um, I think, you know, this would be a good year to kind of kind of show a lot of people, um, you know, you know, everything's not the same. You know, every every player's not the same. Every running back's not the same. Every receiver's not the same. I just feel like there are special players at different positions. Um, you know, a running back is still a position where um, you have special players that's different. You know, it's amazing. You you leave the team, and yet still there sit the New England Patriots for you, right? When you were in Pittsburgh, you had to deal with them, and now you're going to have to deal with them twice, twice during the course of the year. Just your thoughts on having to deal with the New England Patriots. I mean, that's going to be a great challenge. You know I mean? Every year um, when I was in Pittsburgh, I, I had to play against the Patriots and Bill Belichick. Um, they, you know, he always, you know, has something special, you know, scheming-wise, you know, and that's what makes that's what makes football so fun is about you know the way guys are scheming you and you still got to find a way 
to be successful. You still got to find a way to be efficient for your team. I think that's what I love about the game of football because I love challenges and I love overcoming challenges. So the Patriots are, you know, the defending champions and, and those those guys, are, you know, at the you know at the top, you know. So I want to be, you know, a part of a team or, you know, a team that kind of knocks those guys off or we eventually, you know, climbing up on them. Um, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Why would I not want that? I want that challenge, of course. And um, it's going to be tough, you know, but I'm looking forward to it. Lev, thanks for coming on. Don't be shy. You can call in whenever you like. We wish All you good luck time. this year. All the time. Hey, hey, y'all the man. Y'all the right. man, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you Thanks. so much.